time now 618 while the number of COVID-19 cases continues to rise. There's still a false sense of security among some that the disease can't impact them. Karina Mitchell explains that misconception has led many to the emergency room. Chicago resident Michael Bain knows firsthand that the virus shouldn't be underestimated. It feels like you're getting beat up all the time and then the coughing you know, becomes pretty violent, just exasperates the pain that you feel in your body. The 42 year old thought he was immune because he wasn't considered high risk. By the time he got to the ER, he didn't think he would make it. All across the country, the Chilean counts are eerily similar in how quickly the disease can strike and how varied the symptoms are. One woman in her 40s active until the virus colonized her lungs. I was at the gym working out and then fever and nausea kicked in. One thing that I did notice that changed, I completely lost my sense of smell. So patients are coming in commonly uh, with many different complaints, but most often fever, cough and shortness of breath. In New Jersey, an alarming new cluster of victims, 94 nursing home residents evacuated after several patients and staff tested positive for the disease. Now, an urgent warning from the son of the first man in Milwaukee to die from complications of the virus. I've seen the jokes, the memes, you know, everything, but when it hits home, it has to stop when we got to think. Like, family can't be able to hold their hand. Looking back, Bain said he wished the federal government had taken the virus more seriously earlier on. Had that been called a couple of weeks sooner, I probably would have been home already. Karina Mitchell, ABC News, New York.